五级人。Has this bomb world got so hot? Talked about. Himiko, are you still alive? Alive and kicking, Mrs. Is that the entrance to the bomb world? There shouldn't be any enemies nearby. We're running out of time. Let's do it. Ways. Do check what's down there. But you, just go. I don't have time to bear you here any longer. Catch this. Tessa threw down a small mechanical device. What's this? Backup parts for a Valkyrie battlesuit. I found it in the lab. All this fighting has totaled your battlesuit. Don't get killed down there. I won't have time to salvage your corpse. Don't you worry about me. I think she's gone. Great. I can't have anyone looking at this test. Tesla put on her gloves and took out a syringe filled with purple fluid. The time now is 15:44. The sample has been prepared as per the protocol. Commence testing phase. She then injected the syringe content into her arm. She first injected the Hankai solution. Her skin quickly took on a deathly white pallor. Her skin capillaries gave off a discomforting red glow that slowly spread from her wrists along her arms. Tesla knew what's going on. She witnessed it countless number of times. This is the first sign of human zombification. But this is the first time she saw it happening to herself. She did her best. Tess was sure that she had not made any mistakes. If the experimental data were true, then the fluid sample in her test tube would be the spear of destiny. But that wasn't enough. One more thing was needed to conclude the experiment. Any experiment would need this final step. Indeed, Tesla took another syringe and took a sample of the other solution. Theories, no matter how perfect, are just scratches on a paper until put to the test. There were no volunteers. Tesla had no choice but to test them on herself. <laughs> She injected the entire fluid sample into her thin arm. The capillaries did not change. Perhaps it would take a while for the reaction to take place. These few seconds were the most torturous moments that Tesla had ever experienced. It will be all right. Her theories are always right. She tried closing her eyes. She saw many visions in the darkness. She saw how the serum failed to work, allowing the Hankai to corrupt her brain. She saw how the Hankai began rampaging, causing her arm to blossom into a mass of blood and sinew. 
how the Han Kai failed to activate inside her, but could not be neutralized. She saw how she returned her consciousness while her body rotted and withered away. She saw how her body reacted to it strangely while her skin assumed white and pinkish hues. Transcending the zombie and becoming a mighty Hankai beast. One of those visions even included herself being transformed into a pink homo. She had closed her eyes long enough. Tessa prayed as she opened her eyes. <laughs> She only saw a thin, frail arm belonging to a girl. There was nothing off the note except for several blood vessels underneath her smooth and white skin. Has not. Never thought her arm could be so beautiful. She collapsed on the ground like a puppet severed from its strings. She drew in large gulps of air and felt as though a great burden has been lifted from her. It worked. She waved her right arm excitedly, like a girl who just received her birthday present. That's right, Mop Hand. I'm a true genius. Meanwhile, at the bottom floor of the lab. A flight of stairs seemed endless, and then it ended abruptly. I guess this is the bottom floor. All right, Fu Hua, I'm here. The light shone and illuminated the outlines of this chamber. It was a sober sight, like a holy shrine housing a relic. These are all fourth-generation Gosling battle suits. Error: Target not found. Project transferred to other lab. HDA 006 Shadow Knight Eclipse. Type High Mobility Specialized Close Quarter Battle Suit. Assignment Classified. Active Currently Stored at HQ. HDA 005 Argon Knight Artemis. Type Specialized Particle Dispersion Battlesuit. Assignment Classified. Error Security Clearance Level Too Low. HDA 02 Night Moonbeam. Type Long Range Hunter Killer Battlesuit. Assignment None. Searching for HDA002 compatible subjects. Huh? 
HDA001J Hell Knight Igneous. Type Heavy Firepower Area Denial Battlesuit. Assignment None. Searching for HDA001J compatible subjects. HDA001 Night Extremist Isaurus Type Prototype General Purpose Battlesuit Assignment Confiscated HDA001 Design Defects Identified Project Hunter Killer Now Shifted to HDA001J HDA003 Dark Knight Reaper Type Stealth Infiltrator Battlesuit Assignment Classified Error Security Clearance Level Too Low HDA004 Blood Knight Moonlight Type Exoskeleton Hankai Activated Battlesuit Assignment Teresa Apocalypse Active, currently stored at Far East Branch. HDA 00X Warrior Knight Usagi. Type Hyper Drive Imaginum Battlesuit. Error, missing files. Development Project C. Error, target not found. Project transfer to other labs. Himiko put herself over the wreckage of the Acer Mag and made her way to the end of the corridor. A bright red battle suit was kept there. I guess this is it. Is this the thing you want me to find, girl? You finally made it here. This is what you need. Auto hit the secret here. This is his other trump card, a weapon capable of engaging the Hersher directly. The prototype of the Gospin series battle suit, Vermilion Knight Eclipse. The Hersher has awoken. This battle suit is the only means we have to fight her. This used to be a relic from the previous era. After acquiring it, Shiksaw used it as a basis to develop their modern Valkyrie battlesuits, but Aldo could not be satisfied. She, he had a crazier plan. He integrated the gem of haste to this battlesuit and recreated the powers of the Hersher of Fire. Before this task began, Aldo ordered all S rank Valkyries. To dunk this battlefield and fight the Hersher is a plan failed. I am in no place to use this. You are the only one who I can count on. But I'll leave the choice to you, Major. Enough talk. I've already made up my mind. Then allow me the honor to put this on you. Fu Hua walked to the battlefield and extended her hand. Access request verified. Initiate mental wave verification. Verification complete. Privilege category zero order group confident. 
Request verified. Chamber seals open. Switching to subject encasement mode. Process complete. Energy reaction ignited. Power supply on. Go. Wearing this battle suit will allow the Hersher gem to corrupt your mind. I will do what I can to delay the corruption. But you alone will make the difference. Who are you, Fu Hua? A person like you. We both want to change the world for the better. Himiko entered the battlesuit chamber. The light shone on her body. The world before her eyes slowly turned white. It felt like this first ray of dawn, saintly yet empty at the same time. Stop here! You've done your best. You've done everything you can as mortal. That girl was born a Hersher. You can't change her fate, no matter how hard you try. You still have a great future ahead of you. Fool, why sacrifice everything you hold dear? Stop! This is madness. There is nothing but death. This is suicide. Cut the crap. Done talking already. I know what I'm doing. They'll do the same thing as well. If it can be done, then I guess I'll have to do it. The girls are out there waiting for me. Our journey will not end here. That's it. You defeated your inner demons. Your human form is temporarily blessed with Hersher power. My mission with you has ended. I'm glad I can be of help at the eleventh hour. Major Himiko, many thanks for your lessons. Perhaps fate will bring us together again in the future. Thank you, Fu Hua.
the massive machine became a pile of burning scrap. Himiko plunged her great sword into the ground and exhaled with satisfaction. She can feel her heart pounding. Her body had never felt so light before. Her injuries no longer ailed her. A reservoir of power welled up within her, waiting to be unleashed. All right, girls. Hope you don't miss me. Himiko's back in action. <laughs> 